so I'm Mark Bridges and I'm a designer here at Criterion Games. Uh, hi, I'm Bill Lane, I'm lead designer at Criterion Games. A lead designer at Criterion Games has uh, quite a lot of a lot of jobs. It's quite a broad title. So um, there's there's the ideas aspect of it, um, coming up with cool ideas, vision setting, the direction aspect of things. Um, some of it's just about solving problems. A huge amount of design is finding creative solutions to difficult problems. So there's a lot of that in lead design. The lead part of the lead designer is really organizing the other designers. We have a design team, so it's uh, organizing people like Mark, trying to get him to do the right thing, and um, making sure we're all doing the right stuff at the right time. So there's a prioritization aspect to it as well. My role, as Bill says, is uh, kind of to take lead from Bill, from the vision that might be set on a wider game level and then apply it to my more specific area, which happens to be vehicle handling, the vehicle experience. Both Mark and I had a, a similar background that helped, uh, our, helped our work on vehicle physics. And it was basically that we both did science degrees. I did a, an engineering degree, mm. uh, and Mark, you? I studied physics at university. Yeah. So I, I came out going, I don't want to be an engineer. <laughs> um, I wanted to work in games. So after a couple of years, I realized how useful my degree was. Mm. It allowed me, my understanding of maths and physics meant I could uh, get straight into vehicle design quite easily. Yeah. Oh God, I love this car. Oh, coming through. Beep, beep. <laughs> I kind of really found my calling in the fact that when I joined Criterion, I was uh, I was kind of put into the, the vehicle experience kind of role, and uh, I really found that a physical underpinning, you know, my physics degree really helped in the sense that I can go into the physical level of these of these vehicles, very vehicles that we might be doing, uh, and really understand how they work uh, in the real world, uh, and then take the bits that we want from the real world and put them into the game. This is one of the cars that you could really, you could drive it really easily, you could pick it up and just drive it, or you could just keep oh. mining the depths and there was more and more that it wanted to give you. Uh, the end user might not experience the depth of the physicality that we go to. We are fully simulating tires, we are fully simulating drag, we, we are going quite big on all the forces, but the player experience is one of simplicity and accessibility. And it sounds like that. Yeah. Oh yeah! Boom! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> and that's what this car is about. So we're uh, going beyond cars um, and we want to work out what, what, what does Criterion Games feel like when you're maybe you're not on the roads, maybe you're um, just off a road or you're somewhere in the air doing something really crazy or, or you're, you're in a water bed of some kind. It's so exciting to try all these new things <laughs> and, and apply Criterion magic to types of vehicles we always wanted to do. How do we get that same experience of you know, in burnout or most of uh, in our Need for Speed games was all about tearing around a heading corner, drifting at a deep angle at 200 miles an hour? How do we deliver that, but in an air vehicle? How do we deliver that on water? How do we deliver that off off road? Uh, yeah. And that's really, really liberating and really exciting to be working beyond tire and tarmac. Yeah. <laughs> make a surface that isn't fun, <laughs> right, so that yeah. we can avoid it. Yeah, yeah. My focus turned to the games industry, uh, and I just wanted to be a part of it, just to see what it was like. So QA for me was an int entry road for that. Um, and then once I was in the industry, uh, you couldn't take me away from it if you tried. <laughs> and then I started realizing where I wanted to be within the industry. 
I'd made the decision I want to get into games. So QA was um, a job that I could definitely get, and it felt like that was my way to get a, a foot in the door. That's really interesting. Because your approach was to go into QA to essentially get into the games industry, whereas I went into QA to get a feel of the games industry, see so where I could most most fit, or if I was a fit at all. Right, it's really interesting. When I came out of university, I set my targets on a few studios, and Criterion was top of the list of dream places to work. So I totally got into QA with an end goal of mm. trying to become a designer at Criterion. So that came out really well. It is.